Hey traders, Steve here from Jackrabbit Trader. And in last week's video, we talked about how I hedge my portfolio with SPY put options uh, and how I took a big loss in, in doing so. Um, but we also talked about how the month of May was one of my best months because of those SPY put options, regardless of that loss. So I want to show you this week how you can go about hedging your portfolio and protecting against market drawdowns. So let's get started. So the first thing I want you to understand in protecting a portfolio is that there's two different ways to do it. And the first way is by raising cash. And you raise cash by selling some profitable trades, uh, some trades that are maybe breaking some support levels. But whatever your exit strategy is um, for these market drawdowns, you want to start implementing that, right? And you want to do that as quickly as possible, understanding that you may be taking profits and the stocks may run a little further or you know you may uh, sell out of a trade that's breaking support with the idea that uh, it's going to continue lower and ultimately it bounces back higher whatever the reason you want to just raise some cash and un understand that in these conditions you're playing defense you're not looking to be right you're not looking to um, maximize your profit potential in this case but you're looking to just get some cash off the table uh, and really kind of level out the playing field and level out uh, your portfolio to act against you know the market drawdown obviously if you're 100% invested and the market draws down whatever 10% um, you know you're gonna have to make back that money on a, on a smaller amount of money so uh, you want to minimize what you have at risk put some cash in the bank so that when the market comes down you can go about your process uh, and, and start buying stocks again at lower levels or uh, looking for new breakouts and be at a position of strength instead of weakness so that's the first way and anybody can implement that um, you know whether you're a new trader or old trader um, you definitely want to look at ways to raise cash and raise it quickly um, in these market drawdowns so the second case and the second way of protecting a portfolio and one that I happen to um, you know institute when when we go through these drawdowns is by using SPY put options and we'll go through my process and how I do that um, but the first thing that we want to understand is that I'm only putting these put options on to protect against my portfolio when I've indicated that there's some pressure on the, on the, on the market and I've done that with what I call market cycles and it's super simple essentially anytime the SPY is above the 21 day moving average uh, exponential moving average we're gonna be long with no hedge um, and when it's below the 21 day moving average we're gonna be long stocks uh, raising cash at the same time um, but also putting on SPY puts and SPY puts are the S&P 500 ETF the SPY uh, I primarily only trade stocks that are in the S&P 500 that's the way I, I operate um, I really limit to the S&P 500 so that I can go ahead and institute this type of, of practice when we do see these drawdowns but uh, that's just my basket of stocks obviously you can trade in the Dow the Nasdaq whatever you want to do um, but understand that there's going to be a little bit of a, a different uh, you know process maybe to to make sure that you're hedging properly but um, you know SPY put options and we'll go over to the the trade tab here so you can see that uh, basically on the left hand side are all the call options so that means that you're uh, owning the right um, of the SPY the ETF for when the market is moving higher right you want to see when, when the call options are appreciating in value is when the market's going higher so if you think the market's gonna go you know right now we're trading 292 if you think you're going to end up at 300 by you know the middle of September, then maybe you go buy the 292s or the 295 call options, um, and it gives you the right to uh, own 100 shares of, of the ETF at the current price. So, in for example, let's just use the S&P, uh, you know, the September 290 calls. Um, so for 880 dollars, which is hundred times the price that you see here uh, I can own the right to buy SPY 
shares at $290 come September. All right, so if the market appreciates and we go to 300, I can then institute or exercise my option to buy at 290, uh, convert it into shares, and then ultimately, you know, I, I am long from 290 and we're trading 300. Um, I'll be perfectly honest, I don't think I've ever exercised options. I really just trade around them as an instrument, another, you know, uh, trading instrument. Um, on, the, uh, on the flip side, if you think that the market is going to be down at, say, uh, you know, 280, let's, let's call it, then we'll look on the right side and those are put options. And those give you the right, again, to own or short um, shares of SPY at that price. So you'll see here at 577, 584 is the bid ask. Um, so $584 gives me the right to short 100 shares of stock at 290 again if the market goes to 280 it's ten dollar move i now made a thousand dollars ten times a hundred in my put options again have never exercised um but that's buying options there's a whole other side of it a whole other uh you know group of traders that sell options almost like insurance premium um you know tried that and it didn't work for me um, tried a lot of things didn't work for me except for really trading the weekly chart and finding that support and resistance but regardless um, that's just a quick rundown I'm sure there's uh, more thorough explanations on put options uh, or options in general um, you don't really have to get involved in that I think it's uh, maybe unless you're really looking to um, trade you know like I said the the selling and, and uh, of option premium you know, there's Vega, there's Gamma, there's Delta, um, and there's a lot of other things that, you know, maybe aren't as useful, but that's basically the gist. You're either getting the right to buy and own, or you're getting the right to short and sell um, those shares. So what we do, and what I do, is uh, we use the one thing in options that I think is actually useful, um, as far as Vega and Gamma and everything, is Delta. And Delta is essentially the the change in the stock price per every one dollar move so what that means is if we go here um, let's go back to the 290 uh, let's go to actually the 290 puts because we're really talking about puts not calls um, so if you go over to this delta column you'll see that the 290 puts have a negative 0.42 delta so what that means is for every dollar that the SPY falls I'm gonna make $42 in layman's terms okay i'm gonna make 42 dollars for every dollar that the spy falls on the call side you know just to kind of round out this option tutorial uh on those 290 calls i would make 57 dollars for every dollar that the spy gains all right 57 and you can see the different colors in the option chain basically what that is is anything that's in the money all right, so it has some kind of value because the stock is trading above uh, the current price and not all time value. I'm not going to get into it again. We've probably exhausted more than you need to know about uh, options. But again, just a, a good understanding of what that means and what that is. So let's focus on the put options because that's how we're going to hedge the portfolio. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into one of my accounts all right and this is my account and you'll see that here are all the trades that I'm in okay here are all the long trades uh, with stock you know and my gain and loss and everything like that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna beta weight to the SPY all right and we're also gonna turn on and this is in thinkorswim um, I'm sure other platforms have the same type of setup but what we're gonna also do is turn on Delta, all right? Because remember, we just talked about Delta, right? I'm making 47 or 51 or whatever it was for every dollar that the, the uh, SPY falls. So when we beta weight to the SPY and we look at our Delta column, we are now looking at, I am currently long 65, I don't even know how to say it, 65 Deltas of SPY. All right, so for every dollar that the SPY moves higher, I should make $65 in this account. All right, and that's the way I look at this. So what we need to do is determine the number of puts we need to, 
to buy to become what we call delta neutral or at least as close to delta as possible in my situation i don't ever like to go delta negative all right i don't ever look to um uh be overall short in my portfolio if that makes sense so for argument's sake if if i'm long 65 deltas i don't want to buy or or get my deltas to negative uh delta because that means i'm overall short and my feeling is that the market always usually has a has a uh, inclination to trend higher so i always want to be at least somewhat long so with knowing that we have 65 delta in long value we want to go back to that trade tab right and we're going to look at the spy puts and see how we can bring our spy puts down so with that said we're going to look again i'm a, more of a short-term hedge i don't really like to be in a hedge for more than maybe a week um and and that's as a result of last week's video uh you know and you can look at that but I'm really looking to be in and out of those hedges uh, and hopefully trade around them. Um, but if we go out, we're going to look 30 to 45 days out uh, in the market. So let's actually just stick with these September um, options uh, expire September 20th. And those are 47 days until they expire. So with the market, you know, if I was going to put a hedge on, let's call it, um, we would look at, you know, we're trading 292 i would try and get something in the five dollar range and i usually like to get to something that's a little bit more of a round number because you'll see there's a little bit more volume and open interest again not something uh, super critical especially in the spy uh, etf um, but some other stocks if you're you know however you're doing that you want to make sure you have a good amount of volume and open interest because if you don't have a lot of people that are willing to move the, the merchandise really you're gonna have a tough time moving it um so if we look here at the 292s i'm sorry the 290s that gives me a 42 delta a negative 42 delta if we go to the 292s that's a 47 delta all right if we go down to the 286s that's a third no, negative 35 delta so for me i usually on a hedge would go probably a, a strike or two out of the money which means you know down the chain you know the market has to move lower um, and that limits risk a little bit in my situation um, but you know there's people that'll go and buy you know uh, options that expire you know in 12 days here and you'll see that they're still getting the same delta but the capital that is needed is much lower right the 290s here are 260 versus 584 so almost half but you got to be dead on you got to be like right and the market's got to move especially if you're buying short term out of the money options you got to be spot on because if the market just trends sideways for a week you're going to lose your money okay you're going to basically the time value is going to be absorbed out of these mark out of these options and not necessarily um you know do what you're looking for them to do so uh, like I said, I usually try and go 30 to 45 days out. I'll pay a little bit more knowing that I have a little bit more leeway um, that the market can kind of chop around and then maybe break down uh, just for peace of mind. All right, so let's go and actually add this and we'll analyze this trade if we uh, added it to the portfolio. So we're gonna buy uh, one September 290 put at 584. Uh, and we're gonna actually put this in the analyze tab on thinkorswim we'll go to the risk profile and you can see here that let's take it off for a minute so you can see here that we're beta weighted to my portfolio and here was the exact delta we just talked about right 66.25 all right and that is matches up with what we basically talked about you know close enough 65.78 whatever um so let's look at back to the analyze tab uh, 66.25 and you'll see that this curve here this purple line basically represents everything that the market's going to do so if the market went down to 290 or let's say it went up to 300 okay so if it goes down to 290 the way the market is right now and the way my portfolio is constructed i'm going to lose 800 dollars all right um and 
If it goes up back up to 300, I'm only going to be down $138. All right, and that's because of I currently have some open PL that's a loss. All right, if we look back at the monitor tab, my open PL is $613.38. All right, so I'm negative 613. Go back to the analyze tab. So if we go down to 290, which is $2 more, uh, we would then take that open PL to 800. If we go back up to 300, we would take that open PL down to negative 138. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. But um, so let's look at what it is then when we add the SPY put. So again, look at the middle slice here. Now we took it from 66.25 down to 24, and that's that 47 delta that we talked about uh, off of the options chain. All right, so if the market goes down to 290, now I saved myself about $130, all right? And 290 is only $2 or $3 from where we're at. Um, but if it goes up to 300, well now I lost myself another you know, $200 from before. So understand that you know it works both ways. You want to try and be right, but let's say you know market crashes, right? Let's just throw it out there, and we go down to two seventy. Okay. Well, if I just was long only in stock, I'd be down twenty two hundred dollars or twenty one hundred dollars. But by putting on that SPY put, now you'll see this blue line comes into play. Okay, and so does the and the purple line is no longer linear. It's no longer going from bottom left to top right. It's more of a swoop. And that's because as the market goes lower, those SPY puts are making money, but my long stock positions are losing money. And as the market goes higher, my long stock is making money, but my SPY put options are losing money. So um, by having those put options in place, we're able to limit risk. And you know the way that I use those SPY puts is as a separate trade. So I want to put them on and take them off. Put them on, take them off. Put them on, take them off. All right. And I think in the month of May I had like five or six trades that were just in the SPY put options while I was also trying to raise cash out of my long portfolio. So that's how I go about you know adding um, adding uh, SPY protection, you know put protection. And again, we're not looking to get down to a negative delta. So what I meant before is if I go to, a, you know, say I bought two, um, now I'm negative 18. You know, again, just look at this middle slice because that's the current price of the SPY. I'm a negative 18 delta. So that means my portfolio is gonna actually make more money. You can see that here now in the, in the curve um, as the market goes lower, but I'm not, that's not the way I look to trade. Um, I don't ever want to get myself net short, you could say. Um, again, I want to just do it to take a little bit of the edge off, uh, take a little risk off, and something that I could just sleep at night knowing that I'm protected in case you know something happens. And again, I don't really do that unless we're in a red market cycle. So that's how I use SPY put options. Again, any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below. I'll leave a description or I'll leave a link in the description box for my weekly trading process e-course um, and also uh, my trade alerts so you can kind of see how, uh, how I go about maybe implementing this. Um, we'll, we put out a new uh, newsletter every week that kind of goes through the market cycle. Um, and again, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.